All right, welcome to the Robert Show. We are here at NVIDIA GDC 2025. I'm super excited and I'm with the Nebius team. I have Gleb and Oleg here. You all just did a fantastic talk there. I saw you all had so many people talking to you after the session. But just for audience, why not we start with a quick intro and then we learn a little about the session as well. Gleb? Yeah, thank you. Hello, everybody. So I'm Gleb Kolodov and I'm the head of the cloud platform infrastructure. So I'm a software guy. Yeah, my name is Alek and I'm a more hardware guy. I'm responsible for hardware research and development, precisely servers, track, and so on. Awesome. Thanks, Gleb. Thanks, Oleg. Uh, obviously, we'll be looking at both the sides today in our interview, but I'm kind of curious to know about the talk. What was it about and what were the conversations you were having after that? Just curious. So, we had an uh, emotionally engaging story to tell. So, we actually... Like Nebius is uh, only you know a couple of years old, and in this time we created the business, and then we had to rebuild the technology that runs that business in exactly a year. So that was you know quite a dramatic uh, experience, yeah. and we did it. Yeah, and you know it's working great now. Yeah, and uh, also about the conversations, uh, what what were the folks asking you after that? Well. Uh, the the talk if the talk was partly about our past and our present the folks were mostly asking us about our future like mm. you know how do we differentiate ourselves from the competitors uh, moving forward and who do we see as competition like uh, there were some suggestions of uh, partnership yeah, on the infrastructure level or in the uh, level of you know marketplace integration Very so cool. the, i saw there is uh, quite a serious interest mm. in integrating into our cloud that's so fantastic that's great yeah oleg uh, tell us a little about the talk and uh, the conversations afterwards yeah for me it was interesting as well so we built from zero to scale and it definitely had an impact on our servers and data center infrastructure. Right. So we had a huge team and experience from the Yandex, the, the big, one of the biggest clouds in the EMI region. And we needed to do all this from almost from the scratches. Uh, we had only one data center and uh, our approach of efficiency and the most important for AI sustainability yep. and its impact on the environment how all to all these principles are all together, uh, living totally the same in the Nebius infrastructure nowadays. Yeah. And most of all of the questions after was about some implementation of our approach to the network field, to the server development, Very important. Field, production, testing, and so on. Okay, that's fantastic. Those are fantastic insights. One for you, Gleb. Uh, I know you've jokingly called yourself a serial cloud builder. Can you tell us more about that? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, it's definitely more, more like a joke, uh, but yeah. that's actually my cloud number four, if you, call, if you count all of them. So, actually... They all succeeded, I hope. <laughs> they did, in different markets, different clouds, but yeah. yes, they did. So, uh, even though Nebius is only a couple years old, right, well, uh, Oleg and I come from Yandex, and in Yandex, uh, we did Yandex Cloud. And Oleg did many, much more, I mean, so, uh, hardware for uh, many other services, not just for the Yandex Cloud. So you may have heard of Yandex as being like Google, Amazon, and Uber of Russia. And Yandex Cloud was one of the biggest uh, public clouds in EMEA. So I was there from the very beginning, uh, yep. from 2017. And before that, uh, I worked uh, for Microsoft, and back in 2006, uh, so I was over there in Seattle. Uh, yeah. Like I witnessed firsthand and you know uh, participated in the whole uh, uh, turning from the box product to being the data center first and you know even though it was not the infrastructure cloud it was more like SaaS cloud but the learnings of scale and how to run the global service uh, you know worldwide at high scale were definitely indispensable and definitely very useful in Yandex so exchange then Yandex cloud then at first in Nebius we used the same IP nice. that we had for Yandex cloud to yeah. build the cloud, and then we had to rebuild it all over again. So that's number four. Okay, that's fantastic. Now I know oh, why you called here. yourself yeah. as a serial cloud builder. So thanks for that uh, background information. Uh, also, quick question: rebuilding, you know, an AI cloud from scratch and doing it quickly is no small feature, right? Uh, how, how about you can, if you can share, like, what factors uh, enabled you to move so fast and pull it off successfully? Because that's mm -hmm. like a huge task as well, yeah. right? So definitely, people. Uh, I mean, people has been uh, first and foremost. So actually, a lot of the uh, great engineers decided to 
uh, join when our founders decided to leave Russia and create a new company. So uh, it's pretty like we would not be able to hire such expertise and you know such uh, quantities of the market. So we really had a great team with expertise in everything like data center construction, server hardware, cloud infrastructure, ML pipelines, even our own AI R and D team. Very important. Plus, yeah. very strong partnerships like the one we had in, with Nvidia was definitely you know there to support us. Not only Nvidia, like Intel, AMD, and whatnot. So uh, and. You know, having data center was great. Yeah. Having you know uh, funds from the split off was yep. uh, with Yandex was definitely uh, super useful. So mm. all those things put together definitely contributed to success. Okay, and, and you know, uh, just on this topic itself, uh, I would love to know a little about when we talk about good compute. What does that actually mean, and what are the key ingredients for success in today's AI market? Maybe Oleg, Gleb, yeah. Yeah. I'll answer a part of it. And <laughs> all I can would have to answer one more part because you have some good stories to okay. tell, I know. So, um, you know, originally we thought that, you know, we'll just be, you know, selling compute, like compute hours, we give you a host, a virtual machine. And, exactly. Uh, but that's actually not what the uh, market wanted, mm -hmm. especially for training. What, what we saw that uh, customers wanted good compute, meaning that compute that directly contributes to the model training progress. and. You know, clusters get bigger and bigger, and we're on clusters up to 4K, and that's not a limit. Right. Uh, and 4K GPUs, I mean. And if any of those uh, GPUs or hosts fail, the training run has to restart. And even though the yes, there is checkpointing and whatnot, the customers really want their hardware not to break or break less often. And uh, this is where magic from Oleg comes into play. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all the clients want to think of the infrastructure which is working indefinitely and always with 100% reliability. So the reliability is the main problem of the modern uh, big clusters. Exactly. We working on all of the directions which we can implement our knowledge, starting from applying AI tool set for log processing and to metrics of to how the hardware is doing, uh, going to control all the stages of the production yep. uh, and designing our own equipment if we don't see something uh, which feeds our clouds in, in the market. That's what we do, that's part of our DNA, this is the approach. I love it, uh, fantastic. Actually, one more thing on top of that, so yeah. we're heavily investing in auto healing, which means that you know, it's normal for the hardware that even if it was completely great up and running in the beginning, with time it will fail. That's normal, especially if the clusters are big. Always. So yeah. we need to, well, on one hand, try to predict when that's about to happen. And when it's about to happen, already happened, we need to be able to uh, A, detect it, and B, recover it. So we're integrating that across all the levels of the stack that we fully control, right? Starting from hardware, monitoring, through compute, into managed Kubernetes and then into Slurm. Wow. So the higher level you use of compute, the more automatic it will be. That's fantastic. This, that's you know amazing insights that you are sharing. One more quick question, and I'm pretty sure you know my audience would love to know is mm -hmm. about the use cases, mm -hmm. right? I know you all work with large enterprises, not only all over the globe, right? Uh, I'm kind of curious to know a little bit from both of you, from not only from a software perspective, but also from a hardware perspective. Any use case that comes to your mind uh, that you would like to share with the audience? Yeah, well, um, we have companies that, uh, like, actually we have a diverse set of companies. From exactly. very big to very small, we mostly know about bigger ones, yep. but not only. So uh, there are companies that uh, come to train their new foundational models. Uh, there is bunch of them, but since it's expensive, requires a lot of compute, you know, uh, it's not the only type of customers we have. So foundational models, let's say for uh, uh, models for generating the uh, logos and brand, uh, brand images, whatnot. Yep. We have uh, companies that train their models for prediction of the weather. For example, nice, nice. But, but then use it in, you know, for their influences on finances and you know, cost of energy. Mm. We have uh, companies that actually uh, train their video generation models. So there are a lot of going, like virtual worlds emerging right now. And um, 
there are also customers who come and run their inference on us, yep. right? Either the same models they uh, generated with us or elsewhere. So, right. for example, they're looking to boost their capacity, mm. like our cloud being one of the many, you know, cloud uh, regions that they use. And we are targeting multi-cloud customers. We know that all of them have other clouds, so we're trying to make it as easy as possible for customers to bring their workloads on us. You know, use one of our regions, maybe several our regions, because we keep building them out. So, yeah, lots of inference, and we're really start uh, seeing that inference scenarios pick up Fantastic. and that's great. It's yeah. great for the industry. Yeah. So yeah, quite a bit of that. Okay. Uh, Oleg, do you have anything yeah. to add? Yeah, maybe some funny cases, stories yeah. more related to hardware. So one of them, for example, was the uh, latest GB200 servers. Mm -hmm. We really understood that it is really brand new product. So all, all of the software and uh, firmware parts of it are still on the development. We understand, and we are working all together. I mean, our ODM, our team, and NVIDIA, we are working all together on Taiwan and trying nice. to bring up the new, newest hardware to our cloud. This is the, an example of a collaboration from uh, pr the uh, manufacturer, yep. the collaboration from the NVIDIA itself, and yep. the uh, like, end user of the hardware as, 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 as Nebius. Yeah, and maybe one more funny case about yeah. how it's happened with uh, modern inference. Uh, some of the companies cannot predict their like capacities they really True. need. Uh, some of the application can be like on top of all of the stores and uh, get audience really, really quickly. So guys bought some capacity in our cloud, you know, one of the data center, but didn't predict it the uh, dramatic demands, the <laughs> dramatic increase right. of the demand. Yeah. So they came to us and that, okay, tomorrow we need like, like t X uh, 10 capacity yeah. or X 20 capacity. We had a data center which was not ready, was in the internal testing of our team, everything was ready from the software perspective and all the stacks, but we were still on the test. So in a couple of days, we prepared it to run exactly. for this client. This is the flexibility we're going to provide to our client. This That's is fantastic. like a way of support. We can work each other, solving the issues, even the capacity issues. Yeah. So uh, we really like it because it's it's really drive drives us to, to run faster. Yeah, no, I love it. I love uh, these insights, uh, Gleb and Oleg. One more quick question for both of you, and I promise this is the last one. First of all, how are you all liking it at NVIDIA GTC, the crowd? What do you think about it? And uh, if folks want to reach out to you, where can they do that? Well, it's definitely fun. I feel great energy. It's the first day, at least, for yes. me. And you know, a lot of it was spent just preparing for the presentation. But I, I'm looking forward to seeing, exploring what's out yes. there. It's definitely like the place to be right now. Fantastic. Yeah, it's a perfect way of share the expertise uh, to meet, uh, yeah, directly not in a calls with all of the colleagues from right. all over the world. So I'm pretty happy to to, to, to to be there. And if folks want to reach out and connect with you all, which is the best place, LinkedIn yeah. or any other place? Yeah. Uh, just I'll answer it in a second. Yeah, I just sure. wanted to add that really being here and talking to customers, like I'm really looking forward to it because we position ourselves as being the AI cloud partner, meaning that we don't just sell you reserve and you know off we go. Exactly. We really want to understand what people what people are building, what their struggles Very are, important. and really provide the infrastructure for people to grow their businesses. Like I'm on the infrastructure side, but I'm interested about the whole stack because infrastructure powers all our services above, right? So if somebody's building AI, AI applications, I want to here and know about it so that we can be ready uh, to satisfy the need. And if uh, anybody wants to contact me, I'm there on LinkedIn. And uh, yeah, probably the best way. Yeah. Awesome. All right. And yeah, Oleg? I think it's the way to reach me as well. By the way, we with the full team, we are here the whole week. We Amazing. We are totally available in all of the conferences like supercomputers, GTC, or whatever. Yes, it's and you all are exhibiting as well. So folks can come and meet the team at the exhibiting hall as well. This yeah. is great. I think uh, Gleb, Oleg, first of all, thanks for taking the time out. I know it was just after your session, but uh, the energy that you all have is fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you for your questions. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Pleasure to meet you. Yes.